I don't think there's just one. Um, I take on board that, those comments about businesses and governments, and I think there's a certain amount of truth in both of those. Um, governments in particular, I think, um, hold a lot of power in their hands, and certain governments who want to have a lot more control over their citizens, I think it could be dangerous for society as a whole. Um, businesses, yes, I believe there are some that are exploiting um, perhaps customers' personal data and so on for their own gain, but customers go into that with their eyes open, um, and it's a choice that you make of whether you give your data. It does need to be controlled, um, but uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's a combination of factors. But there's another factor that you didn't have on your list, and I think another danger we have is that some of the civil society organisations, for example, have very ideological positions. So, for example, you look at net neutrality, and they have a very strong view that everything should be equal and so on, but it's not a practical view. And there's a danger there, that if those net neutrality principles, for example, were seen through to their ultimate um, object, ob you know, objective at the end, that would really slow down the internet and prevent people having the access that they've become used to. So I think ideology in itself is a bit of a danger and something that we need to be wary of. And we have to be pragmatic about these things.